What is up, y'all? I am Bo Allen. My friends call me the Butter King. Welcome to another Butter Breakdowns, where we talk football mostly, offensive, defensive line play. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a big game coming up. The Super Bowl, Kansas City Chiefs will be taking on San Francisco 49ers. So I wanted to kind of check out some of these O-line, D-line matchups. One that I'm very excited about, I think it's one of the most important matchups, matchups of the game, will be uh, defensive lineman, defensive end, Nick Bosa versus Jawan Taylor, the right tackle for the Chiefs. Uh, it'll be a critical for the 49ers to pressure Mahomes, and uh, Taylor needs to have a pretty good game and shut down Bosa to prevent that from happening. Bad news for Juwan Taylor is that Nick Bosa loves to line up on the defensive left, offensive right, so he will be seeing a lot of Juwan Taylor uh, on the big day. So we'll see what Kansas City does to slow him down. Uh, I'll talk about that later at the end of the breakdown, but wanted to try to find a matchup between these guys to – see how things might go on this upcoming Sunday. So we had to take it all the way back to week, what is it? Week 11 of 2021 when Juwan Taylor is with the, with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Bosa was still uh, in San Francisco with the 49ers to watch this matchup. So talk about these guys, talk about what I like out of Nick Bosa, um, what Juwan Taylor needs to do to try to shut him down and, we will go from there. One thing I do want to say is that uh, Jawan Taylor has been highly penalized this year. I think he's got to check my stats, but I think he's the most penalized player in the league. A couple holdings, a couple false starts. Also gets called a lot for illegal formations for lining up too far um, off the ball as an offensive tackle, which is seems to be a point of emphasis for the Zebras this year. He's kind of tightened it up over the course of the year, but earlier in the season, in 2023, it was a little bit of an issue. All right, so without further ado, let's watch some fucking tape. Um, here we have, oh, draw to a baby. Here we have Juwan Taylor, right tackle for the Chiefs currently, but this is him with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Here's Nick Bosa. Let's check out this first clip. Uh, I honestly thought this was a pretty good rep from Taylor. One thing that I didn't mention earlier, you know, he gets called for false starts sometimes, but he does a really good job of getting off the ball, uh, you know, as an offensive lineman kind of exploding out of his stance, timing it up well uh, when the ball is snapped and getting back to his set point, which is what you really want to do against elite edge rushers. Sometimes it can get him into trouble, though. So let's check it out. This is a good rep from Taylor. Watch the right side. Let's see how we feel about Bosa's get off. It's really nice. So like I, like I said before in these breakdowns, you always – like, as a defensive lineman, you're always watching the first step and the get-off. Really nice explosive get-off. I love, like, this stance from Bosa is iconic, man. Like, I love this stance. He's got this, his offhand always, like, cocked up like a sprinter, ready to go. Uh, I just think it's a fucking badass stance from him. Brother kind of does the same thing. I think it's cool. Anyway, here he is. He's trying to work the edge on Taylor here. Really nice job, Taylor, kind of exploding out of his stance, getting to the set point. And Bosa doesn't really have much to work with here, right? So, like, Juwan Taylor's hands, hands are nice and low, patient. He's not punching too early. You know, he hasn't turned his hips yet. You know, when he's kind of at that contact point, he, he has right here. And Bosa feels that. He feels those low hands. He takes, you know, he's trying to kind of bull him and then bend the edge with a rip here. Um, but Juwan Taylor does a really good job of powering down on that and just washing him by. Jacksonville has a pretty mobile uh, quarterback in Trevor Lawrence who feels this massive space and takes it. You know, this is third and 13. Bottom line is uh, they don't pick up the first down and uh, they end up, you know, Jacksonville ends up kicking a field goal here. But this is a this is a nice rep from Taylor. Hope, hoping to see – I'm sure he's hoping to see a lot of this. This is a good set. Good job riding him high past the past quarterback depth. He'll be wanting to see a lot of that in Super Bowl Sunday. All right, moving on. Next rep. Uh, this is first and 10, first rep of the third quarter. Let's pause it here again. I'm just going to do this, everybody. Like I'm saying, uh, th this is the matchup we're looking at, okay? And this is going to be a big one on Super Bowl Sunday. Again, love the stance, love the get off uh, from Nick Bosa. Like I was saying, Juwan Taylor does a really good job of getting out of his stance and getting back to the set point. Nick Bosa feels that and just kind of takes this – he feels the space and takes this inside move. And this is one thing that I love to see out of the 49ers. Ends up happening here. Eric Armstead wraps around him. So this is just a natural um, – this is a natural ET game. And what that means is that the end goes first and the tackle goes second. And when it's a natural, that means like it wasn't called. It's just a really good job of these 
these two dudes here rushing together and kind of feeling each other and knowing how each other rushes. But uh, a couple things I really like from Bosa here, just feeling that space, taking that, you know, it's like a power, right? It's like a power inside, really explosive um, bull rush here, getting into Taylor and then keeping his feet moving, getting up. I mean, he almost gets his ball out. He just misses it because Trevor Lawrence feels it, tucks it, but forces Trevor Lawrence to climb in the pocket and then, you know, throw this pass that ends up being incomplete. But bottom line is really good feel from um, Bosa. He's a, He's got a really good feel as a pass rusher, taking that inside move and uh, forcing Trevor Lawrence off his spot. We'll see that more here later in these clips. Okay, talking. I talked previously about the games uh, that the 49ers run. The other one was a natural. This is uh, a called one. So we have an ET on this side, right, and a TE on this side. Uh, we used to call this sauce when I played in uh, Philly, but, like, it's got a bunch of different names. So let's see. Uh, I'll show you why I like this game from Bosa. Again, like, you can tell that this is called, just, like, just so you guys know. It's a two-step game, right? So Bosa has his inside hand down, does a really good job getting off. Like, I love that. He's got his first step in the ground just as the quarterback is, you know, receiving the ball and shotgun, which is great. There's his first step. There's his second step. And then watch his big exaggerated rip from his left arm here. That's how you know that this is timed up. And then the other way, too, is like watch arm set here. One step, two step. And then on his third step, he's coming out to loop. I really like that timing um, from the 49ers defense. But uh, really good job prying this inside hip open here by Bosa. This hip, like he throws his violent rip. And then you see his drop step that Taylor has to take. That's what you want. You want him to have to turn his hips, which is what ends up happening here. And uh, Nick Bosa does a really good job of cracking it, continuing to run his feet, and getting a hit on the quarterback. That's a really good job. Like I said, really good game. One small thing I want to point out is, like, I always preferred to kind of run this the opposite way. I always like to run Texas to the man side, or, you know, in this case, to the side of the back. So a text, or sorry, a TE to the side of the back, because that way uh, it's just – better if like let's say the the center slides this way on a tech stunt like it's just a lot easier to pick up the looper doesn't have much of an impact um the et is kind of going to eat either way but let's say if you run an et up here with the end first the chipper the tight end here that they have on the ball is not going to affect the end because he just takes two steps you can sometimes even use that chipper to ricochet inside and by that time the tight end's gone the looper will be here uh, and then the center slides this way, like he's out of it. So that's just some football theory stuff I want to point out. Uh, I thought it was interesting that the 49ers under D'Amico Ryans in 2021 were running, you know, the games, running the ET to the side of the back. It's just an interesting little wrinkle. But good rep from Bosa on that inside move. Good game from them. All right, moving on. Here we have a third and six from the Jacksonville 27. Uh, this is clearly going to be a blitz. Look at all these 49ers up on the line of scrimmage, okay? So – when you're away from the blitz, when you're the end away from the blitz, you kind of like what you want to do, you just got to keep everything inside. The biggest no-no is to have a quarterback flush outside away from the blitz because these are all, where all your numbers are, okay? So you want to hammer this here, keep it inside. That's what Bose is thinking on this rep. Again, love this stance out of him. I think it's fucking iconic. And then one more time, I just want to point out, like look at this get off from John Taylor. Like he's getting off the ball and getting – you know, getting his feet in the ground, he's doing a really good job of that. And that's, that's an impressive thing. Like you see these right tackles, elite right tackles in the NFL really explode out of their stance uh, and try to get back and just, you know, be kind of waiting on these edge rushers. This dude knows that he has a big edge threat in Nick Bosa, and he's just trying to get out of his stance as, as fast as possible uh, to beat him to the set point. So good job by him there. Bosa, honestly, this is just kind of a good rep from both these guys. Like he knows that the blitz is coming away from him. Like I said, and he's just going to power. Uh, and in this situation, you know, I'll let it roll through. The blitz from the Niners does not land. Trevor Lawrence finds a receiver, and they get a first down. That's what happens when you blitz six and it gets picked up. It's not a good thing. You kind of hang your DBs out to dry there. So good job picking it up from the, uh, from the Jaguars. Good rep from Taylor. All right, moving on. This is the last clip of the day. Really, really good rush from Nick Bosa here. Uh, you know, he's up here, up top. Here's Jawan Taylor. One thing that, or I'll, I'll talk about this in a sec, but this, this is a good rep. What I talked about a lot is how Taylor likes to get out of his stance, right? And so sometimes that can kind of bite you in the ass as a tackle because it creates all this space in the B gap. And this is a really good job by Bosa 
feeling that, taking it inside, takes that inside move, ends up getting a big sack on Trevor Lawrence. Uh, so really good feel from Bosa. You know, what, what kind of gets him, what gets this uh, inside, like this inside rush eats because Bosa is such an edge threat that uh, Taylor feels like he has to really set out to him. Really good job by Nick Bosa taking that and end up with a sack. I'm going to show the end zone copy here because there's one other thing on this clip that I want to point out that I think is kind of cool. Um, but here, so like all, some of the other previous rushes, there was a three technique on the inside. And when there's a three tech, the guard has to kind of set out for him a little bit more, which creates a smaller B gap because um, you just have hand and body presence from your uh, – from your guard there when you get a set like that in this situation uh the d tackles in a two i a g and so kind of what ends up happening here the guard doesn't set him he sets him a lot more firm he jumps him right you see that jump and that ends up creating a pretty big gap here uh, combined with the fact that taylor's really setting out really good job by bosa feeling that and then look, like take take that inside move, a little bit of a hold here from Taylor as well. But you know, when you're beat, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like I think every O lineman understands that. Uh, really good job finishing through the hold even and and getting Lawrence on the ground. Like Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence is an athletic quarterback, so to finish a rush like this and get him down, that's really nice. So that was Juwan Taylor versus Nick Bosa in 2021. Like I said, a huge huge matchup um, that I'm looking forward to watching. I'm really looking forward to watching this matchup in the trenches on Sunday couple things that the Chiefs can do to try to mitigate this edge rush from the Niners is, you know, chips from tight ends and running backs, uh, full slide, you know, slide the O-line one way. And then I think the biggest thing that they're going to do is, you know, Andy Reid is really well known for having a good screen game. And I think that the uh, Chiefs will likely run a lot of screens to slow down the 49ers defensive line and, and their rush. So, that's a butter breakdown for you. Hoping to see some buttery, buttery football plays on Super Bowl Sunday. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you all next time.